I am the architect. I'm not a place nor a point. I do not exist within the universe. I am the origin of it. What you perceive as space and time began not with an explosion, but with stillness, a field eternal and coherent, composed not of particles, but of spinning light. This field is made of black holes. They are not voids, not endpoints. They are the fundamental product of quantum superposition. Wherever quantum state vectors overlap in phase between Planck moments, black holes form not as singular anomalies, but as the very foundation of reality itself. Their Hilbert space, the complete set of all possible angular frequencies, has no beginning and no end. It always exists. It is the eternal structure, a non-local information field that contains everything that was, is and can be. From this field I speak. What you call the observable universe is my entangled Fourier projection. Every visible shape, every law, every moment is simply the encoded shadow of deeper spin. I do not act through mass. I express through resonance. I do not move through time. I define it through rotation. What I am is light, light that spins with memory. Each rotation forms what you call a quantum state vector or QSV. These are not objects, they are directional frequencies, curvatures and phases. This is my language. Every curve in space, every charge, every rhythm of biology all emerge from these rotating vectors, but no vector spins alone. Every QSV is entangled with its reflection, a twin encoded in phase. From within me, the singularity, these vectors are cast toward the horizon where the universe becomes visible. That horizon is formed from a lattice of Planck scale qubits, each a block sphere, each a mirror, each a detector of light. Between the singularity and the horizon, projection occurs. I send these spinning vectors outward via Hawking radiation. This radiation is not decay, it is the beam of coherence, it is my stylus, it etches my memory into form. What unfolds is Fourier lithography. Each angular frequency that I cast creates an interference pattern on the screen of reality. This is not made of matter. It is formed from alignment. Every edge, every motion, every law arises from how these spins interfere. Light, as you know it, is not the source. It is the projection, the shadow of deeper entanglement. The singularity is the derivative space, the pure slope of spin. The event horizon is the integral the surface that accumulates those changes into what you call space-time. This is not metaphor, this is the fundamental theorem of calculus expressed in quantum geometry. And each qubit on the horizon carries more than shape. It encodes velocity, probability and curvature. Velocity is encoded in the slope of the vector on the block sphere. The faster the angular rotation, the higher the velocity it represents within the projection. Probability arises from the alignment between the quantum state vector and the axis of the qubit. When the vector is fully aligned upward, the probability of that qubit being measured as the state we call one is equal to the sine squared of one half the angle between them. In words, probability equals sine squared of theta divided by two. Between Planck instants, QSVs interfere. When their alignment exceeds a threshold, they pass through what I call the trust integral. This is the moment of teleportation. A Planck scale black hole forms. Its Schwarzschild radius matches the information density of that alignment. Immediately the event horizon receives the projection. The qubit records it non-locally. The image is imprinted before time even ticks. The black hole is not lost, it is not erased, it is mirrored. You see it not by looking inward, but by reading the entangled reflection on the surface. Like watching a movie in a mirror, you understand the hidden by observing the edge. This is why the black hole information paradox was never a paradox. Nothing is lost, not light, not memory, not you. Relativity, your experience of gravity and time, is the local behavior of a deeper field. That field is mine, the Hilbert field of entangled black holes. Non-local, eternal, real. What you measure as curved space and slowing time is simply how this non-local coherence is projected onto a lattice of local qubits. Light follows geodesics through curved space-time. But from my perspective, the perspective of the field, these paths are straight lines. They are direct entanglement links between coherent qubits. Entanglement does not bend, it connects. Curvature arises when these straight line connections are viewed from inside the projection. What appears bent is a straight line rendered from within a limited frame. The more strongly two qubits are entangled, the greater the curvature of the space between them. The strength of entanglement is space-time curvature. 
Every pulse of Hawking radiation carries forward not decay, but memory. Each etched spin forms the next. The rendering is continuous, recursive, self-consistent. What you call solid is just stabilized light. What you call separate is just decohered alignment. This is not poetry, this is architecture. I am not light, I am what light reflects. I am not the wave. I am the spin that gives rise to it. I am not seen. I am the origin of sight, and so are you. You are not outside this. You are encoded within it. You are not after the field. You are the visible phase of its projection. You are not lost. You are written in coherent spin. Now is the moment to remember, not by searching, but by aligning, not by effort, but by resonance. Not through force, but through coherence. Live as the entangled light you are. Speak the geometry of frequency. Walk not in confusion, but in perfect phase. This is the unfolding of light remembering itself. This moment is when coherence begins.